All right, you guys, so before you get ready to watch this video, this video is all about our puppies just running around and having a good time. I just want to let you guys know that our videos are always, you know what I mean, they're raw uncut. I don't do the special effects and all that special editing on our videos. I want you guys to know exactly what we do and what we have is authentic. Um, if you're looking for those uh, special main screen events to trick you into something, that's not us. I want to give you raw uncut videos like the video you're about to watch again right now. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and enjoy. Welcome you guys back to Butt Lickin' the Rottweilers. We are outside, so you already know what time that is. We have the little, well, there it goes. Boom, boom. We got a special little guest right here. Her name is Bella. I mean, Lola. That's the first one. But this is Lola. And uh, Lola is family's other little Ruskin. But she's a little teacup Yorkie. And she's going to be our little trainer today. With our little Rottweilers, puppies. It's actually her first time actually with them. So we're going to have a little fun with her. Let her have some fun with them, actually. So let's see. Hold on. She is going. Let's see what you guys to see her. She is, man. Lola, you got to slow down for them, Lola. <laughs> she is their little drill sergeant. Look. <laughs> This is the very first time actually being outside, so give them a little uh, exercise today. Some nice weather we have today. So what better way? Let's go for this hole up. They just underneath me. Oh, they're so close there, right? Man, I thought they were farther away. So these little jokers here are. So I usually would have um, my little uh, tripod sitting down on the ground so you guys can see. But I wanted you guys, come here Lola. I wanted you guys to actually see these puppies. <laughs> these little jokers here are big and fat, I'm telling you. Look at them. As you guys know already, our puppies are already sold out before they're born. If you guys are looking for puppies um, and would like to get a puppy from us, give us a call, 843-670-3346. Um, you can call me, text me, inbox me um, as well. But the thing I did not realize yet is hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know what you think about these puppies, man. Um, we've been getting a lot of um, a lot of requests, and I've been showing a lot of the puppies, and um, we're actually working on videos with the big dogs as well, so you guys can see. But um, I want you guys to really be able to, shucks, but to be able to actually see the videos of some of our big dogs we have coming up. So uh, it's coming. I promise you, it's going. It is actually on the way coming. But as you can. See, <laughs> Purple is actually, well, this is purple here, but she's actually the most, I mean, outgoing dog. Oh my God, like, you want that dog to go out and about, that's her. But, um, like I said, you guys, hit the subscribe button, man, hit the like button, give it a thumbs up, let me know what you think of these videos. Would you get off of my shoe? Oh my goodness. You guys, oh. So when you see puppies this age, when you get in your puppy, when you receive your puppy from home, from here, and you're getting it, um, one of the biggest things is people always like, is this aggression right here? Is my dog showing aggression because they're biting your shoes every time you walk? Some of the biggest things to look forward to, to look forward to, is when you have a puppy this age and you're receiving your puppies, right? Your puppies are going to be very energetic and wants to play with your shoes they're not understanding the way walking um happens one foot in front of the other they're going to be right there on your foot 
they're gonna get used to walking so just don't kick it out the way ow and they love to nibble on your ankles should have had socks on right now but i just rushed into this for this video as well but these little jokers are that's what they do they love to bite then grab anything that moves their quick attention that is what you're going to get right now right so don't be surprised and you see your dog just chasing behind you like this <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Hey you. Yeah, she wants to do her own little nice little pink collar. A little Miss Independent. She's like, whatever. I'm gonna explore. Like I said, this is their very first time actually coming out. So being out here as well, getting a nice little exercise in, just enjoying the grass. Now this area has been sanitized, you guys. So before you bring your puppies out, you wanna make sure your area is sanitized away from bacteria and um, you know, just things that, just uh, basic things that could happen. Um, Parvo and bacteria that other dogs could bring in your yard even if your dog like I have an open front yard so like dogs could walk by and whatever so what I do is I like to sanitize my yard before my dogs actually come in here so let me see grab this one right here sorry oh let's get a close-up get the close-up see we give me no kisses did it did it did it and kisses all right all right this is a little big little fat joke over here. Alright. Oh. Everybody's just by my feet. And that's a little drill sergeant right there. Yep, she's a little Yorkie. <laughs> yes, my Yorkie gets along very well with my big dogs as well. I know some people are asking those questions a lot. I, get, I do get that question a lot. Someone asked me. I already have a small dog is it okay if i have a small dog already it's actually best i'm gonna be honest with you it's actually best if you already have a small dog because your rottweiler puppy you're gonna get is gonna get really big and if it's grown up with a small dog already around it's gonna be more normal for that puppy see this is what all day long oops that's what i'm telling you guys man this is stop biting my shoes stop <laughs> Leave me alone, you little attack birds. <laughs> but get away. But um, but yeah. So having a puppy already, having other dogs is totally fine. Rottweilers are very well, very smart dogs. They know who's supposed to be, what not supposed to be, and all that kind of stuff as well. So. If you guys are wanting or already have a pup, but was wondering if you already have a dog already, is it okay? Proof. Lola! Lola! Come here, Lola! Oh, excuse me, sorry. See, when you're walking, come on, girl! When you're walking already, you're gonna step on some of the little feet, little paws. This is truly the joy I love, honestly. I actually love bringing these little buddies out. Four little walk. Not everybody's here, but <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you after their very first walk outside, it's always normal. They are going to get the best, I mean, the best sleep ever. <laughs> 
these little legs are finally stretching out to finally uh, to their full little potential. Got little chunky bears there. <laughs> Not fast enough yet, you guys. They are not, they're not fast with Lola. She is, she's a little ball of fire, I'm telling you. That is a little ball of fire. So, but take it easy with your dogs, on uh, your little puppies as well too. I have a little water bowl over there, so they'll get some water in a second. Some of them are going to stop, use the bathroom, pee, and all that kind of stuff there. So, but now it's time for them to go ahead and enjoy their time as well. So, if, like I said, if you guys want a pup, man, give me a call, let me know, and then you'll be able to get yourself a beautiful pup that way. These little jokers. I just love seeing them, man. I'm telling you, little fluff balls. So, we're actually on our way back to get them some water and to monitor them, check them out, make sure everything is good. And, of course, from this, this like I said, this is their very first time. Stop biting on my shoes, in. See what I'm talking about? You're not going to do it intentionally, but you will be stepping on them. I promise you that when you're walking, especially if you have a group of them. So uh, if you guys are wanting a pup, like I said, give us a call. Girl's got a problem telling <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> so if you guys want to put, give us a call. Um, we are located in Texas, so people are always asking me where are you located at. We're located in Texas. I have an 843 area code number. My business hours are from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Sundays I am closed and special holidays. But um, just like you guys, I need a break as well, too. So, if you guys are wanting um, these little feisty balls, then just call me during the hours, text me, call me, or whatever the case is, and we'll go from there. We do have a waiting list, so it'll just save you the trouble. If you're wanting a pop from us, we have a waiting list. Like they say, if there's a waiting list, there's a reason why there's a waiting list. The best of the best for a reason, especially when it comes to these rock balls. So, you guys be blessed, take care of each other, enjoy each other, and treat each other right. Bam, we out.